Welcome to day 12 here at Scrap Fair. I'm going to do something um, really different for me. I'm going to mount, remount my rubber stamps um, that are on blocks because I do not enjoy using stamps on blocks. And I've had this easy mount for over a year and I just never got up the nerve to try and do it. So I watched some other videos today to learn how to use my easy mount. And the one thing that people kept saying on their videos was, but you won't know what's on the stamp when you look at it from the cling side. So I decided to use my stays on and see if that would work to put the image on the back, which it does work, but it's not going to be as perfect as when you buy like the Hero Arts cling stamps that came mounted that way. Um, it's not going to be perfect, but I did actually get them all correctly on right side up and semi close. So you'll see um, how they come out at the end. They're not all perfect, but from both sides I can tell what my stamp is. So here I'm trimming the easy mount with my tonic scissors. These worked great. Um, I did learn after four or five stamps that you need to wipe the scissors off with baby wipes between um, your stamps because even though they aren't on stick, they still, the gunk builds up and you just need to help wipe that off. But they, they cut fine now. I finished and cleaned them for a final time and they worked fine. So I started out stamping while my stamp was still on the block on the easy mount. Eventually I got too impatient for that, um, so I would just peel them off and then stamp them because I wasn't worried about getting a perfect image on the back of my cling. I, I just wanted to know what was there, and so I just stamped it well enough to know what was there. I had trouble getting um, some of them started coming off of the foam here, so I'm about to use my heat gun. And just heat it for a little bit. I was afraid to heat it too long. I was afraid to rub it was going to melt and I would start damaging my images, um, but I wound up heating several of the stamps, some of them didn't require it, but I did use my craft pick to get the rubber started coming up on all of them. So here I am trying to pull it with my fingernail and that's not working too well. I'm going to heat it just a little bit more and then I'm going to grab my craft pick and get it started and basically once I got it started most of them came away from their original sticky stuff no problem. I'm going to show you one I had a big problem with, but the it was the only one I had a big problem with. There, I've got it started, and I'm peeling it um, kind of easy to make sure I don't break it. And there it is off. This was so easy to do. I'm so ashamed that I waited a whole year to go ahead and get this done. Um, I didn't finish all of my stamps today because I ran out of Easy Mount. I only bought one sheet of it. Uh, I'm sure I didn't have as many wooden stamps when I bought it, but um, I'm going to buy some more probably this weekend. I only have four or five stamps left, but they're really big stamps, so it'll probably take an entire sheet to do the stamps that I have left. It may even take two sheets, because I have some really big stamps upstairs that I didn't even bring down. Here I am trimming up, and this is the first one. Um, so it took me a little longer than the subsequent ones. I got really fast at it. And I have to tell you, the Stampin' Up stamps, man, they peeled really easily off there. I mean, you know, I had to get them started with a craft pick. But they were, they came off the cleanest um, of any other of the brands that I tried. I did several different kinds. I did an Anita stamp, and I think one of them was a Hobby House stamp. A scrap, couple of Scrap Club stamps. Um, and you guys have seen some of these stamps before in previous videos of the 12 days. They're the ones I had downstairs um, that I use a lot. So you've seen most of them. Some of them are brand new. I had a, a new set. Well, it's not new, but it was a set that was given to me and had never been mounted of Stampin' Up! stamps. Little Valentine's Day ones. And they're especially easy to unmount before they've ever been mounted on their blocks. I'm trying to think of something awesome to do with the blocks that I have left because I hate to just waste it all. But, oh, I just, I'm just so excited about how much room I'm saving um, for storage of these stamps. I do need to get some acrylic sheets so I can put them in a binder. But right now I can just stick them in the top of one of my Iris scrapbook storage totes from Michael's. And right now they'll all fit in the top of one. And I actually have two of those I have room in, so that's good. 
Um, and the Easy Mount Cling works really good if you haven't used it. If you like cling mount stamps or if you like the photopolymer acrylic stamps and you have some red rubber stamps that you are lamenting having just because they take up so much room, highly recommend this. I love it. Um, I'm ready to stamp some more. Isn't that awesome? Like this stamp right here is a club scrap stamp that I have actually never used until today. Um, oh, and when you're stamping on the back of that clean mount, you can really push your stamp in. So um, one of the stamps that I did, I got like the edges of the rubber actually inked and impressed onto um, my easy mount. But that's okay because I still, you know, I still know what the stamp is from either side and that's that was important to me. It may not be to you, but I just want you to know the stays on will work. I'm imagining imagining that any of the solvent inks will work. I'm sure Archival Ink by Ranger will work and I'm sure my ancient page ink would have worked. I just had the, the stays on closest to me. And so then I wanted to try, you know, stamping with the stamp after I took it off. And I am not a great stamper. I don't do a lot of stamping. I'm starting to do more and I'm getting better, but not really good at getting a nice crisp image every single time. So I wanted to make a nice crisp image with the first stamp. So here I am inking it back up to go again. And I'm going to be really happy with the second image. And I'm going to hold it up to the camera so you can see it as soon as I stamp it. That was a scratch piece of paper I had laying out when I was doing another project. So it's got a little smudge down at the bottom from some water or some gamma sol or something. I'm not sure. I just rubbed um, my fist over it. It's kind of a big stamp and the block is really big. But I was really happy with the way this one turned out. Um, sorry, I should have held it a little closer. There's words and then darker areas on the stamp. So I really like it. It is a club scrap stamp that I didn't get from club scrap. I got it at a yard sale, but this was the stamp I had trouble with. It was an Inka Dika Do stamp. I got it on clearance at Hobby Lobby, and it had a black foam rather than a gray foam um, sort of adhesive, and a lot of that black foam stuck to the red rubber, and I rubbed and rubbed and rubbed with it um, with my fingers forever to try to get it off, and wasn't working out too well for me so eventually I went and put it in the sink with some goo gone um, and that finally got it off but I decided to go ahead and stamp it um, before I put it I forgot to stamp it before I took it off the block so I decided to ink it up and stamp it just like it was and this works great um, for you know doing the the cling mount so if you I know some companies let you order the unmounted red rubber stamp portion and then you get them and put them on easy mount yourself yet you don't actually have to put the block on there I just did but trust me I did some others where I didn't do that and it worked great and the stamp has a lot of fine detail in it I haven't actually used it on a project because I've been having trouble stamping it but I've been stamping it with paint and not ink and the ink works much much better so I'm about to trim this up and then I'm going to take this red rubber piece and use some Goo Gone to get that gross um, stuff off the back. And, oh, I used a toothbrush um, in the sink with the Goo Gone to get that off because it was a bugger to get off, let me tell you. There it is after it came out of the sink and it's so pretty. I was so glad I finally thought to do that because it was taking forever. Um, here I am showing you how gunky my scissors are, and then if you just wipe it off with a baby wipe, then they work perfectly again. But if you let the gunk build up, it's going to get hard to cut. You can see my little stack of stamps over there on the right that I've already done. I don't know why I didn't think to do that to begin with, but well, I didn't, and uh, so I'm fixing that now. And here are all the stamps that I did. Look, it's a whole 8.5 by 11 sheet full of stamps of all different manufacturers. And like I said, I do have a few more, but I have to go get some easy mount. And there's the blocks that used to take up all the room in my scrap area, so now I just need to think of a project to do with them. So that was my day 12 project. Thanks for watching. Bye.